sophisticated counterfeit bills being passed in Wisconsin. Lake Michigan remains at record high levels. Road America donates $8,000 to local charitable organizations. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. Despite 41 new cases of COVID-19 confirmed on Saturday alone, and the total of 59 cases recorded since Friday's report by the Sheboygan County Division of Health Services, the 63 persons that have recovered since then have reduced our active count to 178 with Saturday's 41 new cases added to the 110 recorded during the six days preceding. The 151 positive test returns in the last calendar week accounted for over 20%, so 21.8% of the 691 cases experienced in the county during the pandemic so far. Three persons, one more than on Friday, are currently hospitalized for treatment of their symptoms. Broken down by age group, most of the cases, 262, are attributed to those 20 to 39 years old. 194 have been recorded in those between 40 and 59 years old, 117 of those 19 and under, 96 were people 60 to 79 years old, and 22 persons are 80 and older have experienced COVID-19. In Wisconsin, 55,328 persons have so far been tested positive for COVID-19. That is up 404 since Sunday. And that is the fewest positive returns received in a day since 315 were recorded on June 29th. The state's positive test rate was 5.6%. Yesterday's Sheboygan County's was 6.2% for the weekend and more persons died of COVID-19 since Sunday, raising the toll to 949 and 15 more persons entered hospitalization, part of the 294 persons institutionalized for treatment. 106 of those are in the ICU and 321 persons are receiving ventilator assistance for breathing. A Wisconsin Marine is one of several that are missing and presumed dead in a training accident. The Pentagon says Private First Class Evan Bath of 19 who is one of several Marines who were lost at sea when an amphibious vehicle capsized last week Thursday. His body and the bodies of seven other soldiers have not yet been recovered. Bath recently graduated from Oak Creek High School and was getting ready for his first deployment, according to his mother, Alita Bath. The accident still remains under investigation. Lake Michigan remains at record high water levels, and that is going to keep those along the shoreline and riverfront on edge, especially on days like today. The latest news from the Army Corps of Engineers released last Friday says the lake remains 56 inches above normal and three inches higher than this time last year. Add brisk offshore winds and the five to seven foot waves they're expecting to generate and the results are likely to be erosion. Shoreline flooding and submerged facilities on the Sheboygan River front. As a result, a lakeshore flood advisory is in effect until 7 a.m. today, and people are being warned to stay clear of the seven of the beaches throughout tomorrow evening. Army Corps forecasters do expect lake levels to decline two inches by month's end, However, the forecasters expect near or record high levels to persist another six months. A statewide crime alert has been issued over an apparent counterfeiting ring that is making its way through the state. Brown County Sheriff's Detective Roman Aronstein 
says that the group of criminals has been passing extremely well-made fake $100 bills that even have a security thread inside. When you are looking at the security thread, don't just look for the thread itself. When held up to the light, the thread will review the actual denomination that the bill should be. <clears throat> How are they doing it? The counterfeiters are taking lower denomination bills and are altering the numbers. What they'll do is use chemicals to remove the ink off of the currency and then will print a different higher level denomination bill to do that, such as the $100 bill. So far, the bills have mostly been passed in big box stores like Walmart, where the crooks prefer to buy small gift cards in order to get as much change as possible. Sporting events are rare this year, even more rare than the fans in attendance. Road America in Elkhart Lake is one of those rarities, and the organization and its partners are turning in their good fortune into good works with an $8,000 donation that will be shared equally by Big Brothers Big Sisters of Sheboygan County and Fresh Meals on Wheels of Sheboygan County. The donation last Thursday was made possible by the recent WeatherTech International Challenge, Concours Diligence. Road America President and General Manager Mike Kircher said the sizable donation was made possible by car enthusiasts from around the world who attended the event and by many others who sent donations into Road America's website. And finally, all signs are pointing to a record absentee voter turnout this year. The Wisconsin Election Commission yesterday said more than three, 300,000 people have returned an absentee ballot for this month's primary election. That is three times the number of people who voted absentee in the 2018 primary and four times as many as the 2016 primary. WEC Administrator Megan Wolf says the numbers hint that many more people will be voting absentee in November. She is expecting more than two million people to vote absentee in that election and this month's partisan primary is just one week away on August 11th. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.